Hearthstone has revealed the latest cards for March of the Lich King, and they're kind of bundling these together in a way. So it's kind of cool to see these. So we have some cards to get through. Let's look at what they revealed uh, Monday, November 7th here. Uh, on the Twitter page, they revealed some cards. The first one, uh, these are actually all just like base death knight cards so they don't have any rune requirement which is pretty cool we knew that that was coming but we finally get to see some the first one body bagger a one mana one three undead with a battle cry gain a corpse so it works with the corpse mechanic um kind of a uh, simple pretty basic card but uh, can help with that corpse mechanic so i'm sure this definitely will see some play in some decks and then they introduced this <laughs> Icy Touch, which is, I think, very, very versatile. Only one mana. It does count as a Frost spell. It doesn't require any Frost runes. Uh, it's a Frost spell, though. And deals two to an enemy and freezes it. Uh, it doesn't specifically say enemy minion. So this can go face, which I think is fantastic as well. Uh, very versatile as well, I think, especially being able to freeze the face of an enemy hero that might attack like Demon Hunter or Rogue or Druid. So really great card here. That one's going to be awesome. I'm probably going to see it in a lot of decks. Uh, next up, they have the Skeletal Sidekick, a one mana, one, two undead with a battle cry. Give up friendly undead plus two attack. Sure. Um, this can work with that hero power because the one one with charge is an undead. Again, that only dies at the or that will die at the end of the turn. So, you know, you're only getting this plus attack temporarily if you do that. But there's a lot of undead units, so this might pop in somewhere, uh, but seems seems fine. Uh, then the next one, Chill Fallen Baron here, three mana, two, two, undead, battle cry, and death rattle, draw a card. This one, personally, I think is freaking fantastic. This one is really, really awesome. The draw mechanic, uh, definitely, I think, will see play in a variety of the Death Knight uh, decks. And the fact that this is both, and if you were to give a a minion reborn with other effects this could be one that you definitely give reborn and get multiple draw uh so you're definitely using this for like the draw not necessarily the body um but the potential to spend three mana get two draw and a two two body seems really good so definitely really like that one the next one though this malignant horror i don't know four mana for a two four it is an undead and it has reborn um, but at the end of your turn, spend five corpses to summon a copy of this minion. I don't feel like we've really seen a lot of buff type things. Uh, I guess you could use like what we, we just saw to give this additional attack. And then at the end of the turn, it will summon a copy. But it feels like this just requires a lot. Four mana for this. You have to have five corpses at the end of the turn to get that effect. And you're hoping that you also buff it in there at the same time to actually get a better body. I don't know. It feels like way too much going on. So I feel like there's a lot of requirements for that. And then Rune Forging, a one mana shadow spell. Draw a weapon, spend a corpse to reduce its cost by one. Um, this seems pretty straightforward. I mean, we've seen time and time again in Hearthstone over the years. Uh, cards that draw and cards that draw very specific things tend to be included fairly often. This seems like if you are running a weapon in Death Knights, you definitely want to have something like this. And uh, spend a corpse to reduce its cost by one is a pretty low requirement. So if you have a corpse, it seems pretty easy to do uh, based on the cards we've seen so far. I think this one is going to be really, really good. Um, and then our last card that was revealed on the Play Hearthstone Twitter is Corpse Bride. It's a five mana, four, four undead and a battle cry. Spend up to eight corpses. Then you get to summon a risen groom with stats equal to the amount spent. Uh, so this one is going to vary on the size of the body that you get. You play this, uh, the battle cry goes off. If you only have four corpses, you're going to get an additional four, four body along with this one. Okay, 
yeah, I mean, that seems honestly pretty decent. And I don't think it's going to go in like every deck. You probably just want to put this in with stuff that like, you know, you're really going to be leaning into that corpse mechanic. Um, but still seems pretty interesting. The fact that it's a battle cry, I don't know. Maybe <laughs> it's not a great body on its own without that battle cry effect, though. And then IGN got to reveal some cards as well in this article. Uh, very interesting. The first thing basically is that uh, they took the kind of Death Knight cards and some of them are returning as actual collectible cards. Some of them are returning changed up a little bit, though, and some of them are not. So they do talk about that in the article. But the very first one, no changes at all, is Frostmourne. So good weapon for you to draw with that rune forging that we just saw. But Frostmourne, seven mana legendary weapons. You can only have one in there. It is a five five and death rattle summon every minion killed by this weapon so if you're going to be attacking into minions with this death rattle you get to bring all of those minions back again with that rune forging you could maybe discount this um or you could just be hitting face for a five damage swing unless you buff it up and then obviously even more uh, but of course <laughs> you know frostmourne's iconic you had to have frostmourne uh, then they showed a couple of cards here. Uh, does note Death Grip is not coming back, but Army of the Dead. I feel like we've kind of already seen this. Uh, this this one in the middle is the old version that you get from uh, the Lich King, the old body Lich King that gives you a card or like Arphis. Um, but the new version is this five mana shadow spell. It is a two, uh, two unholy rune requirements. And you get to raise up to five corpses as two, two risen ghouls with rush. Still pretty powerful. Um, still pretty powerful, potentially raising, you know, 10, 10 worth of stats that you can rush in. Maybe not quite as, uh, quite the same as something like we've seen in Druid with Scale of Anixia. Um, there is that kind of added requirement of actually having the corpses in your kind of corpse pool for that mechanic to get these. Uh, so I don't know. That one's it's kind of interesting. I definitely think people will still try it out, though. Then next up, uh, looking at a couple of these, uh, this old Death and Decay card, the Death Coil Doom Pact, it does state these are not coming back. So not even going to get to see those. But Obliterate is changing up a little bit and coming back. So Obliterate is going to be a two mana spell with one Blood Rune requirement that says destroy a minion. Your hero takes damage equal to its health. So... Again, a pretty flexible, a lot of these cards do seem a little flexible, a um, little bit of flexibility there with being able to remove a minion of varying size, uh, but you do take damage based on that, but it's, it's a cheap removal, so some decks definitely might need that. Then, of course, we see this anti-magic shell uh, showing the old version and then the new version that's going to be an actual collectible card. Uh, it's going down a little bit in cost, but the stats that you do get to your minions are reduced. Uh, but three mana, one unholy rune requirement. So again, a little bit flexible there with the one rune being able to kind of fit into more variety of decks uh, over the two and three cost rune required cards. Um, but anti-magic shell, a shadow spell, going to give your minions plus one, plus one, and can't be targeted by spells or hero powers. Uh, this one's really interesting. I'm actually not sure if people will play this. Um, it still seems like a little bit of a steep, uh, requirement. But I, I guess having your minions, depending on if they're impactful minions, uh, not being able to allow your opponent to target them with spells or hero powers, especially if something like ping mage or things that really rely on that hero power targeting minions is in the game then sure, I guess this uh, this could be a good card. I don't know. I'm just, it, it feels kind of meh to me. Uh, so that is that IGN article. And 
that is what we have revealed so far in addition to all of the original cards that we did have revealed um kind of interesting that they're bringing some of those cards back um i feel like they're not as good though so i'm a little bummed on that maybe the frostmorn is kind of the only <laughs> one that's that seems really good the others seem like they are definitely a bit weaker than the older counterparts to me um, but let me know what you think in the comments below thank you so much for watching and if you're interested in that rune mechanic check out my video that i to hit on creating an entire rune system for all of the other 10 classes